Right here on Magic 102.3 and 92.7. We are the real sound of the DMV. VJ in the midday. It's Vic Jagger. And, you know, I, I don't know if this guy knows that I've been looking forward to him coming here just so I can do this. <clears throat> It's so funny running into hell. Has to be. And he put his head down. So, <laughs> Dave Hollister. You know I hey. have been waiting for years. Oh my gosh. How you doing? I'm so good. You know what? Can you sing that for me tonight instead of me? <gasps> I, I'd, rather, I'd rather you do it. DJ Rico said that you his homeboy. Wait till I tell Rico because he said I always sing for artists when they come here. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, Dave Hollister over here? Like, when I was at Morgan State, uh -huh. we used to walk, walk across campus. It's so funny running into... <laughs> y'all didn't do that, did y'all? <laughs> I swear we did. We did. Well, like, you are you. the best. Appreciate you are it. the best. Thank Dave you, Hollister sweetie. is thank here. You. DMV, two shows at the Bethesda Blues and Jazz Supper Club. How exciting is that? You know. Oh, my God. DC always, always, always show love. <laughs> always. I was just here um, in November. Yeah. You know, this past November. And the, the owner of the place asked me that night after we finished. He said, all right, I need you in May. You got to come which back. Day, which day? I said, really? No, right now while I'm sweating? You don't ask me that? <laughs> it was, but it was, it was incredible. So I'm looking forward to be really, really, really incredible tonight and tomorrow too. You know, yeah. we, you almost know, sold out because you always thing. every time I've seen you perform you always put your heart and soul into it and it just seems like you leave it all on the stage each and every time and it's just like well how do you even have any more left <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. what keeps you going what keeps you motivated is it the energy that you get back from the crowd them singing along or like how you said the owner came up and said I need you back because that was just amazing it's, it's definitely it's more so um, the crowd than anything the energy from the crowd and then you know I relive each moment every song takes me back to the time that I wrote it okay and uh, okay. you know you have to you have to be I wouldn't say a fan of your own music but you have to be true to who you are you have to really you know that's i can't do songs that other people write right, because that's right. not my story now there have been songs that i have that um other people have written but uh -huh. i was going through it at the time so Ooh, okay. i was able to sing it you know and uh, what a lot of songwriters do is they'll sit with me mm -hmm. and they'll ask me okay what you going through man good you ask and let me tell you <laughs> And that's how the songs, you know, that's how they, they come, come about. And they, yeah. they usually, and a lot of artists say that, and I think that's part of the creative process. And I think a lot of people wish that they could put their, everything they've gone through into a song and make it a hit, you know. <laughs> and you've shared a lot of things, you know, through your unsung episode. Mm -hmm. And it's just a lot of things that we, we speculated, mm -hmm. but we didn't quite know. Because mm -hmm. I knew at one time, I think it was before, the unsung episode and uh i believe i ain't trying to start that but i believe it was like black street performing or whatever mm -hmm. and i was like well where's dave hollister at then <laughs> well where he at right, and, and they're right. like oh y'all you ain't here with it and i was like no because it wasn't like a big story but once right. you kind of broke it down and you know let everyone know it was just like oh okay yeah. so that's what so during that time did you keep and i you know if people haven't seen the unsung episode mm -hmm. you got to watch that because Dave lets us in <laughs> on a lot. And I, I don't know if it took a lot out of you to relive some of the things that you've gone through. It did. You know, through that point, it did. It did. It did. But I told, you know, I told the unsung people, I said, listen, man, if I can't tell my truth, uh, I don't want, you know, I don't want to do, do it. I don't want to do it. You know, I, and I'm going to be transparent. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? As, as as transparent as I can possibly get without, you know, making myself look crazy. But you know, oh, and that's everybody what, got a little crazy. Okay? You know what so I'm we, saying? we wouldn't judge you. Okay, you, you know what I'm saying? People I just, just expose their crazy at different levels, <laughs> just a little bit, right? A little bit at a time. I just feel like you know, everything we go through in life is not for us; it's for somebody else. Right? It's for you. But God knows, you know, who can take what. You know what I mean? Yeah. So He's gonna use you to get the next person through, and that's what I feel like. My life is just one big message. You know. But have you ever felt, and I'm and. I know a lot of people have gone through situations where they have fallen out with friends or they have gone through something with someone that they really cared about mm -hmm. and your bounce back game. Did you ever doubt yourself first that like, oh gosh, like, all right, 
I, what am I going to do? Like, dang, like this really hurt me. This took, I took a blow a little bit. And that moment, that pivotal moment where you were like, I'm good. What was the process in between those two moments? It took a lot of crying. You know, it took a lot of crying. It took a lot of time uh, spending time with myself, you mm-hmm. know, uh, and getting to know me and realizing that the first time around was my fault. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, that's a lot hard. of us. Yeah. It's hard to really yeah. take accountability yeah. when you feel like you've done yeah. something wrong. Yeah, and I know it was me. You yeah. know, I know it was me. I, I took a good girl from the country, Virginia Beach, you know, and I corrupted her because I wasn't ready. Mm. You know, uh, I told her I wasn't ready, mm. but that's still, you know, no reason. I should have walked away. Mm. Instead of stay in, you know, so I, I fought myself for staying in. Look, and we on two different things because I was like, oh, oh, he revealing something else. I, know, I, thought, I, I thought he was talking about the group. <laughs> oh, we talk about the like, relationship. Like, okay. <laughs> well, no, tell us well, more. <laughs> tell us more. Uh, I thought tell we were talking more. with the with oh, the group. Oh, so you were the, okay? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. And you was crying. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's what I thought you was crying about. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, I was about to say, that's real brave of you to reveal that. <laughs> no, no, no. I ain't going to cry for no dudes now. That's what I'm I not going to I was like, he do. is real in tune with himself. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I ain't going to cry about no dudes okay. now. My um, man, D&B. No. He was talking about shorty, all right? Yeah, right. He, he was talking, talking about, about shorty. He was talking about, you know, first wife, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying, from Virginia Beach, you know, the whole thing. He said, I ain't crying uh, no no dudes. No, no, I ain't going to cry for no hard leg now. Listen, oh, so... Gosh. Uh, <laughs> oh, baby, yeah, I gotta take oh, this God. jacket off. <laughs> but, okay, now, so you gonna make me so have the, to talk about that tonight? No, Watch. No, <laughs> okay, so we know your bounce back game is strong yeah. because you know you have gone on to do some amazing things, and you know in this new process, I always. You know, I always wonder how it is going from a group and having that entire creative process with them and then being by yourself Mm -hmm. and having to start a whole new process. Is it more like freedom? You feel like a little bit more free that you can kind of put your own or or do you prefer to have somebody there to bounce ideas like, oh, man, no, it was it was a, a kind of combination of both. I was used to working, you know, with Teddy and uh, the team of writers uh, for our stuff. Yeah. Um, but we didn't work long, you know what I mean? So I, I was used to having my own writing career anyway. I was writing before I came to the group. Right. So uh, it, it was fun having the camaraderie in the group. But, you know, I like to tell my Your truth own, yeah. i like to tell my story you know yeah. and uh we were we were quote unquote real uh-huh but we were surface real you know mm. uh so, so you had to dig a little deeper i you know what i'm saying i had to go get the jackhammer oh you know what i'm saying <laughs> now break up the when ground. you talk about peeling back layers you, now you, understand what I'm you saying? can uncover some things that you didn't even See, now I was that going you haven't there. dealt with. I was going there. You know what I mean? I was going there <laughs> okay. when I had been talking about the crime. You understand uh, what I'm saying? Okay. So. Well, I'm glad we on the, we on the same page with the crime because I was like, wow, yeah, he no. is being real no, with no. me. No, I missed him, though. I will, I will say um, once once I did go solo, once the solo, and, and it was an intention. Mm-hmm. Um, I wanted to do, Teddy had, Teddy had shut us down to do, he owed he owed MCA another guy record, mm-hmm. so he went went to do the guy record. And uh, while he was in Trinidad, you know, I was getting offers to do you know solo and production things, and not solo records, but mm-hmm. like duets with do people. Like and, it, yeah. But uh, and I called him and told him I wanted to do it. And first he said no, you know, because it's a Black Street thing. It makes it look like separation from Black Street. You know what I mean? I said, no, man. I mean, I got a family. I got to work, too. Right, I got to eat. You know, and mm-hmm. he thought about it and thought about it and thought about it, and we talked again, and he said, okay, I get it. Mm-hmm. But it just so happened that the God Project fell apart. Uh, mm. I'm going to leave that long. But uh, <laughs> it fell apart. I mean, and, uh, okay. you know, then he went back and started... Um, 
Black Street again, and uh, Chauncey didn't want me there. So Teddy didn't call me back. So that's basically how it happened. Oh, man. Oh, I'm going to put it out there. But you know what? <laughs> I know you Chauncey are. Chauncey didn't want me there. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> now, Chauncey come up here and want to tell his story. He can tell, I, he, he can he, tell he his just, story. He can tell his story. It ain't going to be the truth, but he can tell Oh, it. okay. Well, then, I'm happy Amen. that sometimes things don't work out for the best. Right. Okay? Mm-hmm. Because you have some... Great things that come from mess. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Mess turns into messages. <laughs> okay. On Speak on it. You understand what I'm and saying? And so now we get a whole lot of messages <laughs> at the Festival of <laughs> Jazz oh, tonight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And tomorrow night. Yeah. And DMV, like I said, Dave leaves it all on the stage. And as Man. you can hear here, okay, <laughs> very here, transparent. Here, here. here, here. <laughs> very <laughs> transparent. And, you know, just doesn't hold anything back. And I know that you're going to bring that to us. I'm so excited about it. And tickets are still available. So go to BethesdaBluesJazz.com. Get all the info. But you have to come out and see this man. Come on, y'all. Come on. A few more tickets left. Let's go. And uh, if you're going to, you know. Throw some panties on the stage. I'm going to just say, let them be clean. That's oh, all I'm going to say. Matter of fact, there. let them be brand new. You Please, understand what I'm saying? Have a tag on them. Have a tag on them. Dave, there's somebody, somebody. You know what? We ain't even going to. Now, I can tell you a story <laughs> now. I can tell you a story. <laughs> Ladies, please don't do that to him. Lord Jesus, please, I can tell you a story. Don't let him have a story about D.C., please. <laughs> yeah, this, this one was great. in Dallas. I'm going to just put <laughs> Dallas, Dallas on Dallas. Oh, Lord, Dallas. You know the Cowboys are there, so that's all you can expect from yeah, them. It, it just <laughs> seemed like this one was riding the Cowboys. <laughs> that's what. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I ain't going to say no more. You know, I, no, we just, yep, we're going to keep it going. <laughs> and uh, we will see you tonight. <laughs> yes. As always, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for having me. And you know what, DMV, get your tickets right now. Two shows, two nights, okay? Two Tonight nights. and tomorrow. Dave Hollister, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. And y'all keep it where you got it. It's Magic 102.3 and 92.7.